So I think it goes without saying that there are a ton of Aventus clones on the market. Whether we're talking about Parfum Vintage or we're talking about Club de Nuit Intense for Men by Armaf, there are so many Aventus clones and Aventus inspired fragrances on the market. Well, here we have one that is arguably the best. This one by Montagne Parfum is called Pineapple Intense. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance and also let you know how close I think it comes to the king. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my fragrance review of Pineapple Intense by Montagne Parfum, and I tell you all about this fragrance, the smell, the longevity, the performance, the closeness to Creed Aventus, I do wanna start things off by mentioning that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a video to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you take something of value from today's episode. Now, this fragrance does utilize ingredients that are very similar to Creed Aventus. And I've actually had a conversation with the founder of the company, and he said that sourcing the right bergamot, for example, sourcing the right raw materials was really the key in recreating Creed Aventus to a T. And so even the country of origin is very important when it comes to getting the fragrance to smell exactly like the fragrance after which it's inspired. So for those of you who don't know, Creed Aventus came out in 2010, super popular fragrance released from the House of Creed, very expensive. I think it's like $450 for a 3.4 ounce bottle. It contains pineapple, apple, bergamot, jasmine, birch tar, cedarwood, ambergris, so on and so forth. So I'm gonna be giving you my thoughts on the smell. I'll let you know how similar I think it is to Creed Aventus and also let you know which batch of Creed Aventus I think it's similar to. Some are fruity, some are smoky, but let's go ahead and start things off with the presentation. Now, when you spray it on, the first thing you're going to say is, yep, that's Creed Aventus, all right. <laughs> it has a lot of familiar elements in here, whether we're talking about the pineapple, the black currant, which can be a little musky. There is a musky undercurrent. There's a touch of birch tar in here as well, which lends the fragrance a little bit of smoke. So let's go ahead and dial it back and start at the very beginning. What can you basically expect from this fragrance from start, start to heart? to finish. So in the opening, it opens up very juicy and tart, and that's where you get that pineapple up on top. So the pineapple in here is rather strong, and then secondary to that is probably gonna be the apple, which kind of adds to that fruitiness that you're gonna get in the opening, which I should say is very nice, uh, very inviting. And of course, this fragrance is classified as a fruity chipra, and it has some of those green elements with the moss and the base, and it has that woodsy presence, which is quite enduring, right? For me, Creed Aventus does happen to have very good longevity. And so basically, you are gonna get that in the opening, and then as it starts to progress, you're gonna get a, a touch of smoke, but not anything overwhelming, right? So some of the earlier batches of Creed Aventus, the Z01 batch, the X02 batch, we're going back to like 2010, 2011. These batches of Creed Aventus were really smoky. So there was an ample dose of birch. You're not gonna get that from this fragrance. There is a touch of smoke in here, but it's not as strong as that fruity opening that you're gonna get. And of course, you also get a little bit of bergamot, which adds a very nice amount of refreshment. As the fragrance starts to progress, you're gonna get a woodsy base with that ambroxan finish that gives it that kind of masculine, refined, yet fresh quality. And I've always associated the smell of Creed Aventus with just a sense of being very well groomed. What I can say about this fragrance is that it comes very, very, very close to Creed Aventus. It's so hard to say if it's 100% like Creed Aventus because it seems like Creed Aventus smells different with every batch. Yes, the differences are minute and they're negligible, but of course, smelling this, it just smells like Creed Aventus to me. Creed Aventus is probably the closest fragrance I will come to a signature scent. I wore it during my honeymoon. I wore it on my wedding day. I love it, right? I've gone through about seven or eight bottles of Creed Aventus at this point, including a huge flacone of it. And so smelling this just reminds me of Aventus. It, it kind of 
activates the same memories, if you will. And so I'm just reminded of all the times I wore Creed Aventus, including more recently, I've been wearing it to work. And so it's just very professional. If you have on a suit and tie, it accents your attire quite well. And so I'm impressed. I'm thoroughly impressed with this brand, Montagne Parfum. They have a tobacco-based original creation, which I've reviewed recently. I'm gonna leave a card to that up here. That was also very, very good, right? So in terms of creating something kind of modern, but yet sophisticated, masculine, elegant, I think they hit the nail on the head with that release. And this fragrance is such a close inspiration of Creed Aventus. I'm like really, really impressed. A lot of times with the Creed Aventus clones, they can be kind of on the smoky side of things. They can be on the very fruity side of things. Some of them can even be on the plasticky side of things. And you can just tell when an Aventus clone is not well done. They knocked it out of the park. This smells very, very good. And I think it also matches Creed Aventus in terms of the longevity. The one thing that I would bear in mind though is that I would say it probably is leaning a little bit closer to the more modern batches of Creed Aventus because you also do get that touch of vanilla in the base. Again, not overly sweet, not overly strong, doesn't steal the spotlight from the bergamot, the pineapple, and that touch of birch that you're gonna get in there as well, but very well done. I think they did a very good job with this one. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now first, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, it's not a unique fragrance, right? It's a clone, but the overall smell is one of the best in my opinion. I love the smell of Creed Aventus. I know people have said it's like catnip for men, but it also happens to be one of my most complimented fragrances for women as well. And so I personally love wearing Creed Aventus. It is my most complimented. I always get a lot of really kind and positive remarks when I wear it. Overall smell is exceptional. Longevity, eight to 10 hours, which is very good. Projection was amazing for the first hour and a half. It didn't start to sit closer to the skin until about that seven hour mark. Kind of disappeared at that eight or nine hour mark. On a good day, you're gonna get 10 hours. Versatility, all seasons, all occasions. I think it does lean masculine because of the fact that this is on the affordable side of things. You can wear this one casually in addition to formally. And I do think it has this very sophisticated, youthful and professional vibe about it. And in terms of the presentation, I do think it resembles Le Labo in a way. Dossier boxes are also very similar to this. And so personally, I think it's cool as long as it keeps the cost low and it kind of satisfies that audience that is looking for that niche smell, but is not willing to shell out three, four, five hundred dollars I can sympathize with that. My final verdict on this fragrance is it's one of the best Aventus clones on the market. The more I smell this fragrance, the less and less I'm inclined to wear other clones. And perhaps I'll do a comparison video in the future, top 10 fragrances that smell like Creed Aventus. I know I've done a lot of those in the past. And so perhaps I'll do another one in the future if there's demand for it. But I do wanna thank you for taking your time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you took something of value from this video. That was my review of Pineapple Intense by Montagne Parfum. And it even says 2016 vintage here on the front. So perhaps that is the batch that they were aiming to recreate, but it does smell like one of the more modern batches. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Please, it would mean a lot to me. Hit the bell, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.